Hi, this is Inval Navishn YouTube channel. In this video, we will see about what is the difference between use memo, use callback, and react dot memo. I will try to discuss this in detail with a simple application. So we will try to create an application using React React app. You can find all this code in my GitHub repository. The link of which I have provided in the description. With that being said, we have created a skeleton project. Now this base project has two different input elements. One to accept the kilogram and then another input element to accept the pound. Here we have another element which is button. And on click of this we are calling the convert function. So here we have created two different state. One is form data which has the kilogram and pound value stored in it as a JSON. And then we also have another use state which is object which is storing this form data. And here we have created the on handle change function. This handle change function takes event as an input parameter and then it destructures the name and value. Here the name we are giving it as kg for um, the kilogram input element. For pound input element it is pound. So here in this case if the name is kg so it will change the kg value in the state. If the input is coming from pound then it will change the pound value in the json so far so good and then here in the convert function we are trying to set the form data to the object so here we will try to create a component which gets the object and then it shows the kg and pound result constant kg to pound and then this takes one parameter which is object and then we have return omj.kg and, and then here we will show now we have created a simple component here this is named as kg to pound so we will try to invoke this component here we will try to create a console function here and we will try to see what happens whenever we change something now we will try to pass this parameter object to the kg and pound everything seems to be working fine when we refresh we can able to see it rendered once and whenever I change a value here, now we can able to see the kilogram and pound has the initial value as zero. This is what we have in the initial state. And then the kg to pound component got re-rendered once and that is during the initial load. When I try to change the kilogram value for each and every input I'm giving to this kilogram input, it re-renders the kilogram to pound component. The object which we are passing to kilogram to pound it's not changed so it will be re-rendered but the object is not changing so what happens here is for each and every time whenever there is a change in the form data it reloads this particular component and then while reloading this component it reloads everything it reloads even this kg to pound this object will be changed only when we click the convert function here we are not even clicking the convert function the object is not changed it is still in the initial state so how to stop this this is where we can use the react memo you can memorize the component and if you memorize the component what it does if the input parameters are not changed then it will not re-render the particular component again it will show the same component if the input parameters are getting changed then we can able to see the component get re-renders the react memo takes two parameter one is a component which we want to memorize and then the next one is a function which is r equal so here this r equal function has two parameters one is previous properties and next properties if you return the true from this particular function then the component would be re-rendered again if the r equal function returns false so then the component will be re-rendered again we will see this with this example now this kg to pound function we will try to use react memo to make this component kg to pound to a memorized component i will create another component const this i will name it as memorized so memo kg to pound memo and this memo is coming from react directly and you need to import this from the react and then we need to pass this kg to pound and then here instead of k instead of using kg to pound we use memo kg to pound so far so good now we will see what happens refresh this page now we will try to change the value for kg here whenever i change the value now 
you can able to see the kg to pound component is not re-rendered because we are not changing the property which is supplied to the kg to pound the property which is supplied to the kg to pound is the obg object which is not changed because of which the kg to pound is not re-rendered we have understood that react memo can be used to memorize the component when i click convert i can able to see the kg to pound component gets re-rendered and then if i click the convert again then still it is re-rendered again but here the object is not even changed so how to mitigate this and why this is happening for each and every click of convert we are creating a brand new object the object is changed but the properties kg and pound in the objects are not changed so here in this case the memo thinks the object which is supplied is a new object it won't check for the property values it will just check whether the input object gets changed or not this is where the r equal function comes handy it takes two parameter one is previous props and then the next one is current props and one key thing to note is if you are using flower brace that means you need to write your own return statement if you are giving parenthesis that means that is the return statement we will check whether the previous kg and then the current properties kg got changed if it is changed then only we will try to re-render this application so i have written the condition here so here we are checking the previous property object kilogram and the current property object kilogram are same if it is same and then the previous property object pound and the current property object pound is same then we are returning true if you send true then the component won't be re-rendered we will go back refresh and then here make this kilogram to one and then i will click convert so in this case i am sending one and zero in the object and it got re-rendered once if i try to click convert any number of time this won't be re-rendered because this r equal function returns true because of which i'm not uh, re-rendering this function kg to pound so this is where this function on the react memo comes handy so if you want to memorize a component then you can use memo if you change this to zero and zero and if you click convert this will be re-rendered it won't keep track of all the properties which you have sent so here in this case it will just check whether there is a change in the property if there is no change in the property then this component won't be re-rendered first we have sent the object value was zero and zero then we have modified it to one and zero it re-rendered and then we turn back to zero and zero then also re-rendered so it just checks whether there is a property change between previous property to the current property that's the only check which we are doing we need to be mindful this is not a, like a cache where all the previous elements are cached next we will see about use memo memo function memorizes the component the use memo function memorizes the value this is how the use memo function looks like so the use memo function takes two parameter the first parameter is the function uh, which returns the value the second parameter is variables array this variables array acts as a dependency for this function so this use memo function looks for change in this particular variables which got defined here if there is no change here then this won't be invoked so we will see this in detail with an example we will try to comment this function out and then here we will use the memorized callback change it to one and if you click convert for n number of times you can able to see the kg to pound component will be re-rendered even if there is no change in the object because we have taken off the r equal function so now how to achieve the same with use memo so here we will create a memorized object instead of plain object so for this i will create use memo snippet and then the use memo snippet takes first one as the function and then the second one as the variable sorry which keeps track constant memo object and then this first function returns object and then here this is little tricky so here if you supply this as object this will be triggered for each and every object uh, change even if there is no change in the property present in the object this will be still invoked so here we need to monitor the kg and the pound property present in the obj object so here we need to give it as obj dot kg and then here 
another one which we need to notice obj dot mount so far so good here instead of sending the obj object we need to send the memo object now we will change this value to one and then when you click convert for n number of time what happens is here we are sending the same object again and again so what happens here is even if the convert functions create a brand new object and sets up this object this will not be invoked here so to show this i will create a console statement here so i will print the obj in this console statement go back to the application and then here i will change this kg to one and then i will click convert when i click convert for the first time whenever i change the form data and the obj value get changed you can able to see the kg to pound re-rendered and it re-renders and then here we can able to see this use memo function also getting triggered so when i click the convert again this doesn't trigger the use memo function because it monitors the kg and the pound present inside the obj object and if there is no change that means so this function won't be called so if this function won't be called then we are supplying the old object if you are supplying the old object by the react memo whatever we have here this won't be triggered so here we are not even using the second function the optional function which is r equal function we are trying to achieve the same with the use memo so here instead of kg and pound i will try to give the obj object alone so this is tricky and you need to understand this better so if i try to change this one and if i click convert it re-renders the kg to pound because the object is changed if i click convert again just think a minute whether it will re-render or not if you have thought it will re-render then you are right this is why because this object is changed and the properties are not changing here in the line number 35 we are creating a new form data that means we are changing this form data object and we are creating a brand new object with the existing param properties and then we are setting this to the object so here even if the properties inside the object are not getting changed we are not monitoring those objects to make sure we are monitoring the specified object we need to give this as obj.kg and obj.pound whenever you give this particular property value here in this array then it monitors the particular property if you give the object then it will do a shallow comparison and with the shallow comparison even if the object is changed then this muse memo function will be called now if i try to save this re-render and then if i click convert it won't be re-rendered again so far so good we have understood what is use memo now we will try to see what is the difference between use memo and the memo here in this case use memo is used to memorize a particular value whereas this memo is used to memorize a component so here in this case this memo function is used to uh, stop the component from re-rendering when it is applied with the property and that property is not changed when compared with the previous property so this memo prevents a uh, component re-renders so the use memo is used to memorize the value we have seen what is use memo and then memo and there is one another important topic that is use callback so for this use callback i will create different function that is calculate kg to pound const calculate kg to pound so this function we are destructuring the object and this object has kg and pound and if the kg is not zero then we are returning the new kg and pound string if the pound is not zero that means if the kg is zero then we are calculating the new kg based on the pound value which is provided if both values are empty then we are returning the string kg to pound must have value greater than zero so here i will supply this calculate kg to pound as another parameter in addition to object i am also sending kg to pound and here instead of this i will just print kg to pound and this need to be a function now we will try to see what happens we are getting the output either kg or pound must have value greater than zero this is fine now if i change the kg to one now if i try to click the convert without changing any parameter we can able to see this kg to pound 
is getting re-rendered. If we are using the use memo, this use memo function works fine. That means the object is still not the problem, but we have introduced a new parameter which is a function which is calculate kg to pound. If there is two different parameters, this memorized kg to pound react memo checks whether any of the input parameter is getting changed. Here in this case, object is not changed, that is fine, but we are always creating the new uh, function which is calculate kg to pound. So with this new function, so it re-renders each and every time whenever there is a change in the state. We are not even changing anything in the calculate kg to pound because this calculate kg to pound only takes object value but this object value is memorized and it is not even changed since we are sending this calculate kg to pound function as one of the input parameter this memo kg to pound thinks there is a change in this function so to mitigate this this is where use callback comes handy so use callback memorizes the function use memo memorizes the value use callback memorizes a function in this case if you memorize this call kg to pound using use callback and then the use callback takes two different parameter one is the function and then the second one is the variable which it monitors whenever there is a change in the variables which it monitors then this function will be invoked and then the first one is the function and then the second one is variable arguments in this case obj dot kg comma obj dot pound so this is same as use memo in this case if you notice we are providing obj.kg and then obj.pound because we need to monitor if there is any change in the kg value and if there is any change in the pound value we are not worried about whether the object is being changed or not because as i mentioned when we are discussing use memo so this is pretty similar so here we need to provide the properties which we are monitoring rather than providing the object so if you provide the object, that means whenever there is a new object created with the existing properties, this will be invoked. So in this case, I don't want that to happen. I want to monitor the kg and pound property which is present inside the obj object. So I am just providing obj.kg and obj.pound as the properties to monitor. This function is also memorized. Refresh this, change this kg to pound. If I edit this, this is not re-rendering the kg to pound component. This is because we have used use callback hook to memorize the function. So if I try to send the convert now, now it is uh, re-rendered. You can able to see the kg to pound. It's getting re-rendered. But if I send again, it is not getting re-rendered because now we have memorized both the value and then the function. Here in this case, we have memorized the obj object with use memo and we have memorized the function calculate kg to pound with a use callback thanks for watching this video technical contents and more computer science related topics subscribe to this channel and if you like this content share it with your friends thank you